Welcome back, Saluki Nation. Another game day preview for you from Saluki Radio. Alongside Mike Trude, I am Luke Marr. We won't be here anymore. We've been here for about the last month. Time to hit the road to DeKalb and man, Mike Trude. This is a series with the Northern Illinois Huskies. Hasn't been played since that miracle in 2007, as our buddy Mike Reese called it. But out of the last six meetings between these two programs, Five have been one possession. This has been a very competitive game regardless of the year. It has. 44th meeting overall, and Northern holds a pretty decent advantage over the Salukis, but just can't go back to that last game and, and not remember the Nick Hill pass to Justin Allen. Two touchdowns in the final minute to win that game over the Huskies. <laughs> and recover an outside kick. It was just a lot of things had to go right for the yeah. Salukis that night. But let's focus on Northern Illinois. This is a program that is built on running the football. When they won the MAC in 2001, it seems like they're starting to get back to that this year. Yeah, they really controlled the ball against Boston College for almost, what, 36, 37 minutes of the clock. That means that they're running the ball effectively. Terry Brown was their leading rusher and carried it 13 times, and they still had a couple other guys that had close to double-digit carries. So they want to run the football, control the clock, make good passes, don't necessarily go for the home run ball down the field. But if they can control the clock, they are going to be a difficult team to beat. One of the areas a year ago and why they struggled and their record was what it was at 3-9, and nine, tons of injuries, especially at the quarterback spot and wide receiver. But both Lombardi and Rudolph are back. Rudolph missed all last year. Lombardi missed after the first three games of the season. This is a different offense when those two guys are a part of it. And Lombardi's one of those guys where you go, seven years? Three at Northern, a couple at Michigan State, a couple injury years. Seems like every other year he's, he's effective. He took them to the MAC championship in his initial season with Northern Illinois. Played four games last year before getting injured. Had a good start to the season against Boston College. I mean, he's the leader that you want controlling everything. And uh, they've got some receivers as well. Casper Witz led them in catches a week ago, but they have other guys they can throw the ball to. They spread it around and uh, are very, very efficient offensively. And their offensive line has, I think, 10 different players that played in seven or eight games a year ago. So that's a veteran group coming back as well. Defensively, when you think of Coach Kill's teams that were really good at Northern Illinois and when the Huskies have been good, they've been dominant up front. That was an area that they really wanted to retool. They believe they've gotten faster, specifically in the middle of their defense at linebacker and on the back end. Yeah, the front two guys, O'Malley and Thomas, kind of set the tone. They will try to hit the line hard. In fact, they combined for nine tackles in the ballgame against Boston College to allow the linebackers and the defensive backs to plug those gaps, much like the Salukis do. The difference is Northern will run a four-man front. So it's kind of a 4-2 with a hybrid type back who will sometimes be a linebacker, sometimes be a, a safety type, but they do attack the ball pretty well. They won the offensive battle completely against Boston College, which means their defense played well, especially for the first three quarters of the game. One of the notes we talked about on our radio broadcast last week against Austin P. the reason they never had a chance is they didn't pick up a first down until late in the first half. Well, Northern Illinois, they were 10 of 18 on third downs against Boston College. That is going to be one of the – it's always a highlight area, but because they want to be ball possession and success on first down, that's going to be really a point of emphasis for the Salukis this week. Yeah, we talked about it last week as well, that what's going to be your second down – and gain to, to a first down. Is it second and short, which opens up the playbook, or is it second and seven, eight, or nine, where you're limited to what you can do because you want a manageable third down? Northern was just phenomenal. As you said, 10 for 18, didn't ever have to go for a fourth down, only punted it a few times. They just really controlled the game and allowed their offense to manage the clock, as we mentioned, the time of possession. I think time of possession is going to be huge in this game and those old bugaboos penalties. Northern was only penalized four times in the game. Saluki's penalized 12 times against Austin P. Granted, many of them were in the second half. That doesn't excuse them, though. You still want to be able to, con to control yourself on the field and not get those 15-yard penalties. You can listen to us on Saturday. The IBEW NECA pregame show begins at 1.30. Kickoff will be at 2.30 Central against the Huskies and the Salukis. For Mike Trude, I am Luke Martin. We will talk to you tomorrow on game day. Go dogs!